he's not the best boxer of all time but he definitely deserves the title the greatest he is one of the greatest boxers of all time in fact he is the greatest boxer of all time for a number of different reasons Muhammad Ali brought into boxing trash talking I mean Muhammad Ali was the king of trash talk he put it in poetry I mean he'd get into his opponent's head he was extremely cerebral and this guy for heavyweight was extremely fit this was the first heavyweight that they ever seen that moved like a middleweight. I mean, this guy, he moved all around the ring all the time. And he didn't have the greatest punching power as a heavyweight. But man, this guy had technique, skill, and strategy. And he would attack his opponent when they least expected it. He summed it up like this. He floated like a butterfly and he stung like a bee. And Muhammad Ali was known for taking a stand against the Vietnam War. He was not going to fight. He lost his boxing license. I mean, before that, he was Cassius Clay, and he changed his name to Muhammad Ali. People didn't want to accept that, and he beat up everybody until they accepted that his name was Muhammad Ali. You know, this guy was hated early in his career, and people thought he was an upstart. I guess when he lost, people got respect for him, just like with Roy Jones Jr., Pernell Whitaker, and many others. Once you're a black fighter and you're outspoken, it's a lot harder than if you're a white fighter and you're outspoken and confident. So, you know how it is. But... Besides Muhammad Ali, we got to talk about Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran was, he followed in the footsteps of Muhammad Ali, even though he was more of a pressure fighter, um, skilled boxer puncher. Roberto Duran, again, like Louis Armstrong, began at lightweight. Excuse me. He began at lightweight, and he reached all the way up to middleweight, and at the time, he began his career there were no subdivisions but by the time he was coming you know midway in his career there were subdivisions in weight classes so Roberto Duran I think is a five uh, weight title champion this guy moved from lightweight to welterweight beat the great Sugar Ray Leonard uh, eventually moved up in weight to junior middleweight then he moved up in weight to middleweight I think he ended his career at super middleweight, but he didn't. I don't think he won a, a, a international world title at super middleweight. He won everything else at the other divisions. An incredible, incredible fighter, uh, a big little guy as they call him, and in the footsteps of uh, Henry Armstrong, definitely one of the best pound for pound boxers of all time. Sugar Ray Leonard is considered one of the in fact, he was the best boxer of his era. Sugar Ray and Leonard beat all the then great fighters, champions, including Marvin, Marvelous Marvin Hagler. And on top of that, he had charm, he had great personality, he had pedigree because he was a gold medalist from the Olympics. People loved to love Sugar Ray Leonard. He also had the smarts to get into the head of his opponents and beat them mentally before going into the ring. And on top of that, he had style. He took things from Muhammad Ali like the bowler punch and the chicken scratch. And he had beautiful footwork as well. On top of that, Sugar Ray Leonard was a good businessman. And so he introduced that attribute to his game. And so he has his promotional companies. He had fitness, um, fitness businesses. And this made Sugar Ray Leonard a force to be reckoned with. I think he's one of the great underestimated great people that now boxers today are copying from like Floyd Mayweather Jr. like Danny Garcia and a number of other people showing people that boxing is a business and that the boxer can actually uh, have business acumen can be intelligent can be refined so Sugar Ray Leonard is one of not just one of the best pound for pound boxers of all time but he's also one of the great ambassadors to boxing of all time Floyd Mayweather Jr., well, I won't comment on Floyd Mayweather Jr. until his career is over, but there's so many things he has in common with Sugar Ray Leonard, it's, it's not funny. Even if you look at Floyd Mayweather's face, his face even looks like Sugar Ray Leonard. It's, it's, it's hilarious, really. I always thought he was related to Sugar Ray Leonard, and probably he is, I don't know. But um, obviously this guy mirrored a lot of his life and stuff on style, not his lifestyle, not his lifestyle outside of the ring, but his lifestyle in terms of wanting to be his own promoter 
and in and and, and and wanting to be pound for pound best and and wanting to have a fan base and so on. He did not achieve gold medal status as Sugar Ray Leonard did, but he was a bronze medalist in the Olympics. And um, I think to a high extent, even though he's fallen out a bit with Sugar Ray Leonard, but I think he really idolized Sugar Ray Leonard to a high degree. And you can see it a lot in his 